and it, uh, a strange few days. We got our wish and Alex Neil go in. But today it was very, very dull, wasn't it? It was dull. It was a strange atmosphere. It was strange, wasn't yeah. it? Very, very odd. Um, I mean, I assume Irvine obviously played the team that Neil was going to play. I assume it was going to happen. But we were woeful again against a very poor relegation side. I suppose until we get a new manager in, it's going to be that kind of strange atmosphere, not really too sure what, what we're doing for the, for the until we get that new manager in, isn't it? Well, if it's true what Alex Neil says, 95% of the team know they're going to be kicked out. What have they got to play for? I bloody hope they do as well. <laughs> I mean, it is, we've got nothing to play for now, have we? And that was a team that played like they've got nothing to play for and that was it. Blackburn were shit. They were shocking and... And honestly, even when we had 10 men, we didn't look like we had 10 men. We still looked like we had a full squad against yeah. them and we still couldn't beat them. Mm. Uh, terrible. I mean, I suppose that was the t- turning point, wasn't it? Mitchell Dykes, it was a, a shocking challenge. It was right, right to be sent off, but we were dominant until then. I must admit, I didn't see it. I mean, I sort of looked at it and I was like, was it a red card? Was it a red card? I was trying to get on and I, can, I can't get on anything when I'm in there. I can't access anything. My, cu- my phone's shocking. Um, but... Um, and, every, and someone came to me and said, yeah, it was definitely a red card, definitely a red card. So I'll, I'll take that. If it's a red card, it's a red card issue. But to be fair, we didn't look like we had one man less on that side, on, on that pitch. Um, and Mitchell D- Dykes, obviously... I keep saying it. I should stop saying it. Mitchell Dykes, obviously, he is, you know, we don't want to miss him. We don't need to be missing him now for several games, do we? You know, we really do need him. But then you sort of kind of think that we'd got the three points against Bristol City. If we'd got the three points today, I think Sheffield Wednesday lost today. Yeah. That could have actually put us back into it a just good makes position it, again. It just makes it even more frustrating. We lost at Burton, we lost at Rotherham. Mm. Win today, win a few more of them games, yeah. you're back in the playoffs. That's how, how easy it is to get yeah. in there. Yeah, it is. And it, it is a close call in the championship. The championship is like that. You know, you win some, you lose some. And it's a tight call whether you're bottom or you're top or you're in the middle. You know, that's how it is. But we're not we're not capitalising on these games that we should do and it's woeful it's another woeful performance it's a woeful last week we put in some really woeful you know performances and our team isn't playing Mm. they're just not playing like they're they're not hungry they don't want it who'd be the man that you bring in now to replace Alex Neil well I said I want Gary Monk but we're not going to go out and get that (laughs) we're not going to pay the money we're not going to pay the money and go out and get that I mean obviously uh, Pardew is favourite but apparently Ed Balls has gone out today and said that's absolutely rubbish and that's not going to happen Um, people say we need the experience if you want experience you go for Pardew or you go for Hodgson Um, but then you know a lot of people want Rowett he did well at Birmingham but is he like a Lambert Mm. you know Lambert did well at us Rowett did well at Birmingham is he a one mitt one man for that particular yeah. team you don't know is it the piece of puzzle that fits the jigsaw you don't know if we don't know anyway. once upon a time a fairy tale